We got Speaking the Higgins situation, that, Well, that's what I was getting yeah. to, Bull. Yeah. Speaking of other AFC North teams, T. Higgins, your guy, Bull, has a question to trade. Yeah. The franchise in Southern Ohio does not have the money Jimmy Haslam does, and now it looks like T. Higgins could be on the move. Bull, well, don't give reaction. a pass. They have the money. The ba- You know what's funny? The Bengals have actually spent, if you look at dollars spent, more money in free agency the last four years than almost any team in football. I well, saw this you, the other you, day. Are you adding on the Joe Burrow contract, though? Uh, no, in free agency. Only in guys who well, are free agents. Do, what do you, what do you, on the contract extension to Burrow? Yeah. Like, right, I'm not talking about I mean, that. I know, but that yeah. kind of is, it, it, it keeps you from going to free oh, agency. Sure, so, but I'm, I mean, I'm saying in terms of dollars spent on guys who were free agents, yeah, okay. the Bengals have surprisingly, the last few years, spent a lot of money because for years they never spent. Right. And uh, So I can't kill them. But they and also they, let some guys go, too. Didn't they lose a couple of guys last year? On they the lost Jesse defense? Bates and Von Bell. Yeah. But they had a lot of free agents. But I listen, most of their free agent signings have been good signings. They signed Trey Hendrickson. Some of these yeah. offensive linemen. Anyway, uh, they feel now they could pay both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase, but they've decided they're not going to. That right. they're going to just pay Chase, and I'm okay with that in the end. I, I, but T. Higgins wants to get traded. If I'm the Bengals, I don't trade him. What's he going to do? He's not going to sit out. Well, I can tell you this. Yeah. There's, there's three teams they will not trade him to. Yeah, of course, not going to trade him in the division. So I mean, I, I had some folks reaching out to me like, "Oh, the Browns should make a play for him." Yeah. First of all. What are you going to give up? Yeah, no. And secondly, Cincinnati won't even pick up the phone. No. Why no, would you? No. And they won't pick it up when Baltimore calls, and no. they won't pick it up no. if... If they're going to trade if, him, they're going to uh, trade him to the NFC, most likely. Yes. And I doubt they would trade him because T. Higgins really has no leverage. So He's not going to sit out. his situation is... Yeah. He, they, he's got no options this year, right? Unless he wants to sit out, which... Why would he do that? Well, yeah, that's he's not gonna get really paid over $20 million I mean, we saw how that worked year. out with Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, that doesn't make he, any he's sense. He's not going to do that. Right. Cincinnati is in the driver's seat. Yeah. And if you, you, you hate to lose a guy for, yeah, for sure. nothing, but I think you're right. I think they've made the decision. We know who our epicenter wide receiver is. The yeah. guy that the whole universe in that room is going to swirl around. Yeah. They're Amari Cooper is, is not T Higgins. Right. It's Chase. Yeah. So uh, I think Cincinnati's playing it smartly. And I don't think he's going to be available this year. And I think they have young receivers that they they think, I don't agree, but they think could replace him eventually. But I don't, I don't think he's going to get traded. I'll be very surprised. We'll see. I'm just, if somebody blows him away with a first-round pick, maybe. Right. This is just open conversation. Yeah. I'll go back to the year that he was drafted. And I think I had this conversation with you before. Yeah. It's like that year, they hit on their first three draft picks. It was Burrow, Higgins, and I think it was Luke Wilson. Yeah. And you, all, could, t- all you, could, tell, you could tell early on – that they was going to be in this situation to where they was going to have to make some sure. tough decisions yeah. on who they on who they would have to pay. I mean, if they get the right offer, the right call, then I'm letting him go because he's playing for 21 million this year. You probably won't franchise tag him again next year. No. I think Jamar Chase is going to be the first wide receiver to see about 35 million a year. So, like, with all that being, no, I don't think he's getting that much. You don't think so? That's a big. That's but you I, know what? I mean, that's bold. The but reason I think so. he might is because the, 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 as the, the ceiling cap number yeah. goes north, the old You're wide right. receiver deal of twenty million, twenty five million. Yeah, it keeps going up. We've seen that the old quarterback bar was thirty million. Yeah, right. not anymore. That's not anymore. 50, 50 we saw something. what Baker got, and yeah. you're saying that's twelve to fifteen tier. So all those yeah. numbers keep astonishingly moving up. He might be the first now, guy. Now to get they would probably won't do this because this team is in the AFC, man. But if I'm Kansas City, I, I got a first. I, I know they won't, but zero I got a first round pick in 25. But if you're Cincinnati, no way they're why would you, they're not doing why it? Would you, I know I'm saying they're not doing because it, but in, in Cincinnati's mind, it's got to be somebody. Their in the arch NFC. nemesis right now isn't Cleveland or Baltimore. It's Kansas yeah. City. They're yes. the team standing in the way of them getting to what they want. I wonder who in the NFC is like tailor made to go chase it down that would actually trade for T. I, Higgins right now. Yeah, I would. I Carolina. wouldn't trade him unless I got a first round pick. If I got a first round pick, I'd pro- especially because the wide receiver class is so good this year. I would probably trade him for first round pick, but anything less than that, I'll. Well, I'll what let about it ride. Carolina pick thirty three, first pick in the second round? I'd consider it, but why? Would, but Carolina's not going to do that. I, I, they're yeah, starting over. I mean, they could. It would, you know, he'd be a good. I mean, guy you got to give Bryce Young some weapons. Yeah. What about Atlanta? Man, I just think Parent the whole with Drake Bryce London. Young experiment is an absolute disaster. Yeah, it's I, I got to give him more than one year though, in, and he had not, not much around them. To be I, fair. It, is he going to grow five inches? <laughs> no, because <laughs> no. he's going to be five ten next year too. It's not like Baker's tall. 
He's two inches taller than – listen, yeah. two inches doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah. But when you're talking about a line that's 6'5 average, I mean, get seeing over those linemen, that's yeah. a real deal. But everybody – right And that bro. affects Baker sometimes. It has it it ha- affected it, Absolutely. Times. Look at the balls he gets batted and down. And so, yeah, I, I don't like his prospects. But before I completely write him off, I'll give him one more year see what he's got. Okay. Especially if the talent around him gets better. I mean, they had nothing. No, they were bare last year. All right, let me ask you guys this. Uh, 